gonna go back to the medium ship museum. So they added a clear warning about death and inventory loss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, all right. Now that's like death from crashing and, or death from, from force respawning. I don't know. They're not clear. Uh, they're not clear. Okay, maybe. Well, the, <laughs> technically, they're they're both considered death. So, there's that. Uh, let's see, GUI added a confirmation message when using force respawn in a tutorial session. I say up, updated text for English. Blah blah blah. Added a red warning on inventory loss in confirmation pop up for respawn and remove the settings that allow to skip confirmation. Okay. I got a good shot of that of shit. Qantas in dispensers. So they so now they have commas in the numbers. Ah, okay. Oh no, wait. <laughs> separate huh? No, separate thousands with spaces, not commas. Look at that crazy ship. Wow, we were, I think we were inside that yesterday. It's, uh, oh, that's Nova X. Man, they never brought this to the, uh, to the show. Holy smokes. So. Here's a good one for uh, new players. Yeah. The downloadable package has been shrunk from 15 gigs down to 5.9. Holy smokes. Oh, wow, cool. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Hey, <laughs> Yentlin. <laughs> Waiting until oh. they fix the bug with the display names not being accepted. Okay. Ancient Hawk, yes, you can build space stations. There's actually a space station museum. Mm-hmm. And when you go visit that, you're actually flying around in space. So it's a great way to get practice or get, get used to flying around in space. Because if you wind up flying off and, and get, get stuck or lost, you just exit your surrogate session and you're back home on terra firma. All right. So uh, I want to go down. Is this that goes up? All right. We, we went up before. Pi is better, says Flip360 is in NG. Yep. Yep. And welcome, Pi. Good morning. NG is New Genesis, for those that were curious. Oh, I was reading the notes from August 27th. Hang on, let me scroll down. I did, uh, I did a really cool uh, effects animation. See, I'm, I'm squirreling now, out of game. I'm sorry, Magic. I just can't help it. Sometimes um, I, I just got to okay, do it. Okay, here's today's notes. Those are from, like, last week. <laughs> <laughs> um, improved mini-map rendering performance. Players are now able to share a territory with the right-click menu for friends, organizations, nearby players, or everybody. Okay. Um... Yeah, I noticed that when I logged in, they, they added a health warning disclaimer about, you know, seizures and stuff. Fixed a crash related to minimap performances. I didn't even know that was a thing. And then it's just bug notes, or, or bug fixes after that. Okay. Um, Agent Hawk asked how to leave a surrogate session, a VR session, and Yentlin did answer him. If you're in a VR session, you hit tab, and then at the top of your screen underneath the word surrogate session, you'll see the word exit. So then you click exit. And then Hal was asking, um, he says, if you, since you can only have one static core on the moon, what's the best way to place a bigger core than an extra small? Um, take ev all, everything off your extra small, every single voxel, it has to be totally empty. Pick it up into your inventory and then place your larger static core down. Here we 
Here we go. All right, so here is, uh, this is the new Genesis logo. Uh, one, of the, one of the crew reached out to me on the forums because I, I was doing logo effects animations for, uh, for people in the community for free for a number of years. And they reached out and this, they sent me this right here. Can you guys see that on the screen? Let me see if I can enlarge it. Whoop. So they, they sent me that and I turned it into this right here. And that's an effects animation. And I have a blast doing that. I separate the original graphic and the layers if it isn't already. And that's what I turned the new Genesis logo into. So, so then you 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 can take that GIF or uh, whatever you know what animation file. Uh, I think they, I think they support WebM on those images as well. Uh, that's for animation. And then you upload that to the server and put that on your display screen. So I don't. Did, does the image server only take uh, static images, or do they take uh, gifs? It didn't say. Hey, thanks, Calry. So I'm I, assuming they said images, so I'm assuming it's static. So, if you go to uh, Studio G Live you can see my entire collection of everything I've done for the community. Um, I've got just pages and pages full of really fun projects that I've done. And also all of our video productions are, are up there as well. And uh, later maybe we'll show off the stuff that I've done for Infinity Corporation. Because we've got some really cool ones. Have a good dinner, Yentlin. Have be good, Yentlin. Yeah, it is that time, isn't it? Bactavius. Oh, welcome to the show, man. Cheers. Sorry I missed your message. Ashlyn. Isn't Bactavius Ashlyn? Oh, that is. Okay. We, you said, we you said a, Ashlyn and I... <laughs> we need a translator, you said? We yeah. need... Yes. We need a name translator. <laughs> hey, it's the age of AI. That, that could be done. I think Code Infused is our, is our guy. Hey, thanks, Brimmer. So, wait, this goes off. Is there not a ship up there? Huh. Um, if anyone's in game, we're at the Medium Ship Museum. You're welcome to come join us and look around at these ships. So, we are physically on Alioth. That's where the Medium Ship Museum is. Magic? Is this is this a new section they added and just haven't put the ship in? It, yeah. So in the uh, in the alpha, uh, they they were setting up the museum and they had uh, I think it was I think it was uh, it wasn't accessible yet, so I think it was for the investors maybe to see see what players had done. And Pantera's Naughty Narwhal was there, excuse me, as well as my SR-71. So they, they've got my SR-71 tucked in the basement of the museum, and I'm like, oh, come on. I, I want to talk to them about seeing if they'll put that and the Naughty Narwhal and um, a Bomb Diggity's XB-70 on top of the museum like we had at, the, uh, at all the air shows. Uh, I'm not really sure. Well, yeah, so remember in Landmark, we had the Museum Islands? Yeah, all right, Calvary, that's legit, yeah. Um, and th this way, they, they get a chance to, to have some s really cool stuff that's in the game right away for us to show off. And you get to see some of the amazing work that's been done in the game over the past three years by players. Some of these designs are, are relatively new. Some, uh, some were created quite a while ago. Where's the uh, where's the pad that goes down from here, Magic? I thought we were just jumping off yesterday, but there should be an elevator, I would imagine. 
Oh, I can jump down to this platform right down here. Oh, there, there's a ramp. There we go. Now, uh, which ship is that? That is uh, Hick Tick Trick Virga. So the, the character's name is Hick Tick Trick. <laughs> I'm sure I ever met them. Uh, this ship is part of uh, Hyperion, if I'm not mistaken. And this was at the air show. Just amazing. But here is the ship I'm climbing over here to show off because we didn't get to show this one last time. That ship right there showed up at the uh, air show. Lethville Predator, man, that is that is cool. Hold on, a, hold on a second. So this beautiful ship showed up at the air show. Uh, the big one that we had um, back in, was it June? June or the end of May? You missed. <laughs> I don't have skills, that's for darn sure. I gotta get a picture of this. Should have taken a picture when I was up there. God, that thing is, is gorgeous. Is that a damaged element up there? That looks like a broken element. I wonder if it is. Oh no, that's just that's just a wing section. Okay. God, that is incredible. And there's Pantera's ship, the Brutus. And right next to his ship is Destrin's really cool ship. I can't remember the name of that. Uh, we'll, we'll get closer and find the name out. I love this little area right here. And I'm not sure if any of these uh, nearby tiles are claimed. This would be a cool place to have a home, though. Oh, well, that'd be interesting, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, to find out where we are on the map, just hit location, and it will center the map on your current location. So, there's a ship over here shaped like a skull. Yeah, that's Helvetian. Helveticus Skullington, and he didn't name it Murray. Uh, that would have been epic. He's, I think he's, he's European. I'm not sure where in Europe, but he is a huge NASA aficionado, and he made this, the Space Shuttle Discovery... Uh, Saturn V rocket, uh, the Lunar Lander, uh, and a whole range of other ships. He, he's just really talented. So this is where we are, and as you can see, they claimed all these hexes around it. So there is stuff available on the outskirts, but they've protected the museum location. But if you want some flat building area, man, that is flat right there. And that one's flat. These purples, Ophelia, owned by the Ark Ship AI. I really am going to miss this planet. It's it really is quite amazing, and you know, here's another great place to set up shop. Look at this magic. It's an area kind of oh, like wow. where, where we have the spaceport, and there's a market. Wow, how cool is that? And look, it's even got a peninsula right there. And I, I'm assuming it's daytime over at our, our place. I'm not sure. I, my system clock is all messed up. I checked it this morning and it was still, it was set back on uh, Pacific time.
Yeah, it, well, you know, ancient hockey, you just you build the stuff that you're most interested in. So if you, you know, I think for a lot of players, it's it's really easy to build a little house because you can find examples online that you can just, you know, of you know, real life ex- architecture that you can just copy. You just you just follow that as a, as a guide. Highly recommend that. What I do typically is I'll search contemporary homes or contemporary houses. How's the audio online? Voice, uh, the right levels, not not modulating. I gotta set up my new board because it's got some built-in compression and limiters. This is Pantera ship, the Brutus. And he said, he said, don't go inside. <laughs> Told him I was going to show it off on the show. He said he'd beat me. So. So uh, Pantera's thing in game is ship design. It really, really is. And that's what Profit Rocket Foundry does. And they're part of Infinity Corporation. But uh, ship design. And he and 1K are... Kind of some of our premier ship designers. They just amazing. Yintlin, oh, Yintlin says it sounds good. Right on. Uber says it sounds good. You're not too loud on the left or not louder on the left anymore. All right. Ancient Hawk says he saw some uh, saw some really old videos on building in DU. Yeah. Well, there's there's going to be a lot of new tutorials coming out uh, about building. Hey, gamer. So you're having an and issue with max, max cores. All right. So that is that is something in the game. That's a skill you have to work on. Uh, so let me let me show that. And Zimmy popped in. Zimno. Zimmy. Hey. Found a squirrel. Yeah, Zimmy. How are you? All right. So. To increase the number, their maximum number of cores you can place, and that's you know, static and dynamic, there's two things you have to do. So first is, uh, if it's a personal, not for an organization, you have to increase it right here under architect and under core unit upgrades. You have to train these first two skills. That first one will allow you to have two cores. So if you train all five of these, you can have 10 cores total in addition to the one you already have yeah so 11 okay and then there's the advanced core unit upgrades same thing uh it adds but this adds plus one max active core units per skill level that last one three million points whew, that's a bit expensive um and now in addition you have to you have to train your static core expertise and your dynamic core expertise to place down this a certain size cores. So the very first one you have to train in order to place an extra small core, the second one for a small core, the third level for a medium, fourth for a large, and this fifth one, you can train it now, but we don't have anything assigned to it yet. So we assume there's gonna be an extra large core that's going to be cubically, I think, eight times the size of a, a large, but I don't know if they're, they're going to put that in the game because, boy, that's a lot of stuff. Or if they do, they'll make it hugely expensive. And to, to train that, unlock uh, that price might go up. I'm not sure. That's a good question for the uh, designers. And then, same thing under Dynamic Core. They've got those those first four levels. So I can place a, a medium dynamic core, but I cannot place a large dynamic core yet. Now, if you have an organization, you go down here to organization construct management, which is right behind my head. Um, let me turn off my webcam for a second. So down here, uh, you go to organization construct management. As you can see, I've unlocked all, all these levels. So that gives us, uh, it's plus five. So that gives us 25 cores. 
and then you go down to the next tier, and I've unlocked three, and this multiplies it, that 25 by 100% each time. So we can now have a, a total of 100 cores. And if, you, if I train both of these, then we'll have a, 150. And once that one is trained, which is really expensive, then you go down to the next level, and it multiplies it again by, so I think each one adds another, another 25. So when it's all, all said and done, uh, you'll get what, what's that, 200 and 275 cores your organization can place. But I hope, I hope that helps. Um. No, no, it's only, the, so that only affects the legates and it only takes, uh, only uses whichever legate has the highest skills and those will be applied. So if you've got a friend that's got really high skills there, invite him, invite him to be a legate in your organization and you will benefit from those. I think, I think we can only be a member of four organizations because that's all that shows up on my, on my organization list, which means uh, sadly I'll, I'll need to drop out of the outfit. Can you show Gamer where that skill is again? Hit F2 to pull up your skills menu. And it's under, excuse me, it's under mining and inventory. Which you just click that. So if I click industry and I go to mining and inventory. And it's inside architect and for organization, it's now at the bottom, organizational construct management. But for the personal stuff, you got to train the architect skills. Is there, is there an easy way up? I guess this might be the right height just to jump. I think when we were here the other day, I jumped on part of Pantera's ship and then was able to get up on a ramp. Oh yeah, here we go. It's like a little jumping puzzle. <laughs> Here's Destron's amazing ship. This was in the uh, trailer. That. Oh, perfect screenshot. God, look at that. Is this, this game is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Oh, it's and it's called the Explorer. I did not know that. I got some great pictures of this thing back in the uh, back in the alpha. I think he made this in the early part of the alpha. When I fell through the platform there, I landed on that ship right there and thought I was had fallen through the world and was at someone's base. That's uh, Old Guard of Gaia. Or Guardians of, of Alioth. Hmm. I'd say it's quite an honor to have your ship placed in, in one of these museums. And hopefully they're going to be expanding it. To, there's so many amazing ships out there that were made. These guys are uh, a French team. This is Yggdrasil. Uh, they were at the Alioth uh, Aerospace Expo that we hosted. And they uh, they had so many ships that they set up their own base nearby around the lake that they, that was in the center of our area at the Oasis. And and they put all their ships there. You're taking pictures, right? Jill? Yep, that's what I'm doing. And this thing's got an amazing interior, by the way. Oh yes, it's very nice. <laughs> A general question from Gamer, what kind of computer would be good for a voxel game like this? A big one. A big one. <laughs> um, let's see, <laughs> let me find my computer thingy. Well, it depends, it, you know, it's, a, it's all a, a matter of budget, so it depends on what you have. And you can adjust your settings down. So I, uh, 
the entire spaceport, that whole thing I built, uh, or ninety percent of it I built on my laptop, my alien, my four-year-old Alienware laptop, and I just you know dial the settings back a little bit and it runs just fine. Okay, the computer I bought um, for this game because my old computer couldn't run it. I bought a an Omen desktop. And my whole computer costs just a little bit more than a 1080 video card. Um, it comes with a 1080. I don't know if you can still get it, but it was an Omen desktop 880, whatever, blah, a lot of other words there. But a lot, I mean, people that watch the show, you guys build your own computers, right? Most of you? Yeah, I think a lot do. Oh, Calry, yeah, you're set, dude. That yeah, that will do the job in a snap. Oh, no, wait a minute. There is something over here. I think that's a ship I missed. Oh, the old computers gamer that you were, like, as big as a house almost. <laughs> what the heck? Is, is, that, is that territory scanner part of that ship? I wonder. I don't know. It's just sitting there by itself. Here's a ship that we missed, or it's new. Oh no, that's an engine. <laughs> oh. Crap. Yeah. Hanelia. Um, this is the mid, mid medium-sized ship museum. So if you're in game and you go to a, a VR station. There's a menu of all the museums, and we're in the medium ship museum. So these are all player-built ships that they've put into a museum so you can see them. And hello, Matt. <laughs> hey, Matt. Good morning, man. Welcome. So I think the voxels are missing. I think the voxels are missing. I don't know if that happened when they placed it down or if it just they, they, my client hasn't received it. Oh, no, it looks like that for me, too. So it could be that they haven't finished. Um, oh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm standing on the wing. There are some voxels, though, look. Actually, that's the railing. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> I think that's the railing over here. I don't know. I think uh, they need to get uh, someone like Shatari on, on, the, on the job here. Yeah, they were trying to place it and it was too big and so they just maybe left it. Could be. Oh, wait a minute. Well, this is part of the ship. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Oh. I thought we were on a plane. No, this is the ship. <laughs> <laughs> the ship looks like a platform. <laughs> this is... The yeah. Yes. Cue, cue that's, the that's Monty, right. cue the Monty Python confuse a cat skit. Yeah. Jeez, oh, piece Sir Zaku, the platform is the ship. That is the ship. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. In fact, if you jump down and look at the front of the ship, it's got they've got a cool logo design. Yeah, I, I jumped down again. Okay. Oh, uh, there it is. All right. Yeah, we saw that from from. from good lord, look at the number of brakes on that thing. On the bottom. Oh, we saw that from the bottom. It's the biter. It makes much more sense from the bottom. It's all coming back now. Oh, that's the one. Look at that. Okay, that's the one that's got the cool uh, dragon on the front. Yeah. Yep. Golly. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it, it's like that scene in Star Wars where they, they fly in that cave and they're actually inside the monster, you know? Yeah. So, <clears throat> I think we've seen all the ships here between today and yesterday. There is 1K's Naga. I tweeted that out. Ah, amazing ship. Absolutely amazing ship. And there's, there's the skull. Yeah, and you should have named it Murray. You're right. That was a missed opportunity right there. Uh, there was a video that they published, and it, they... Um, all the player-made videos that they published officially, like all the work that, that of mine that they did and uh, all the work of uh, 
of Nubers that they that they published, those are all listed as uh, unlisted on their official YouTube channel. So if you have the links to those, you can uh, you can view them. Otherwise, uh, what they do is they, they leave it there and then give they give the whoever made the video if you request it they give you permission to publish it on your YouTube, and that's that's how they operated for. Uh, up until 2020, and then in 2020, they uh, they went to only dev-produced content. So they had the community program, but they wouldn't accept uh, produced content. You just send them the uh, the location of your ship, maybe a picture of it, so they can know when they when they find it. Okay, some serious discussion going on in chat. Okay, calorie calorie can't figure out how to point his no the nose of his ship down. And Cirilla goes, K -k -k, ask Nuber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cirilla to the timeout, please. <laughs> <laughs> then Gamer says he saw a ship last night that had to a toilet in the front of the ship. You were on a ship yesterday that had pilot seat and then two toilets and one on each side right Jill? yeah 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 that's uh it's probably infinity corp owned i just saying yeah. um <laughs> so all right when you're so your initial ship when you put it down it has the flight mechanics of a hovercraft so there are hovercraft flight mechanics and those are different than uh regular pilot flight mechanics for a regular flying ship uh, and so what you do is make sure you're not sitting in your ship you right click on the seat and then you run the configuration as pilot, piloted construct, or flying construct, rather. And if you want it to be a hovercraft, so if you do the tutorials, uh, you get to fly a hovercraft in the tutorials and you get paid for it. Uh, and there's another one for the flying ship. I don't know if they, they have those uh, reactivated yet. Um, but that will help you dramatically. What was on the outside? The toilet? Yeah, it's just, it's, so the toilet is just a seat. Yeah, it's a, a, you can actually sit, sit on the toilets in here. Brimmer, thanks for hanging out, man. Love you guys. We'll see you, see you in game at some point. Wow, so, uh, just amazing place. This wouldn't be a bad place to have a little outpost, you know? I like that that area that's got the market over there. I like that thing's really cool. All right, magic. Yes, Jill. I'm going to teleport back to the market. Get up. If I, I can turn my UI back on. Here we go. Control F9 toggles your UI. Leave Syria session.